Why me? Oh! It would help if I had the game clicked on. Fucking idiots. Okay. Now we switch back. Turn this up a little more. Make this stop freaking out. And we are in business, everybody! Let's get cracking. Sorry for the wait there, but we're okay now. Everything is Daijobu. We're out of here. Hey, sleepy head. Yeah, Something we've been sleeping for you. a long time. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Let me well, know if I fix the, the audio, it. okay? Where's Yuna? Look at dead eyed stare. The same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago when the last calm started. The calm? When the last exposition Since started. Then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You wouldn't be able to tell it from the looks on your faces. Yuna, however, came out with her best you face really on. You don't need all that luggage. Uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, Yuna. I guess... I guess you're right. Yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a trip. You could say it's gonna be, um... A killer of a trip. Okay, off we go. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? No, it's not like that was a spoiler or anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, we immediately get kicked out of Besaid, but what we want to do is immediately go back in there. Because by doing so, we can get a thing. Don't we all love getting things? Uh, I don't remember exactly what house I need to go into to get the thing. I think it's this one. Here we go. Come on. Yep. Eh, don't, don't, aren't you gonna give me the thing? Uh-huh. Or maybe- no, it was the item shop, wasn't it? You. Yes, there we go. Now we can go back over there. So that dog has a thing that we want. And what could that thing be? You might be thinking, uh, that might be like... It might be a potion or a weapon or something. Nope, it's a fucking overdrive. He had the magical power of the Aeons in his mouth. He dug up an overdrive. Now you might be asking yourself, what shape does an overdrive take? I don't fucking know. Apparently it's enough of a shape that a dog can chew it up. Anyway, now we have that. Here comes one now. It's a little more powerful than Balefor's than Balefor's default overdrive, but it's a little slower, so you have to be a little tactical. No problem. Also, now we're going to kill the local wildlife. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. So I hope everyone's ready for the tutorial fights. A flyer, my kind of customer. Come on, you scum. Get bonked. Get beamed. By a bumpy volleyball. Oops. Okay, we get a spear level. Nope. This means that we get a little more strength. That's nice because strength uh, means damage. By the way, for those that don't know, overdrives are Final Fantasy X's limit breaks. They're pretty much the same thing. With just a tiny bit more interactivity thrown in for good measure. That looks like trouble. Yeah. It's like a jelly brain. Hey, watch this. It's got a brain inside. 
Also, Titus is about to make a fool of himself. There you go. Absolute ass. Only magic can beat that thing. He didn't tell us shit. You can't beat him down. You gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Keep up, Titus. This is Final Fantasy. Show you what I mean. Luke, oh, sneeze is coming. One second. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Okay, I survived. Good news. Uh, I gotta click back onto the game. Whoops. Spells of ice work well against fire. Theme. Yeah, and ice, ice fire. Against fire. You follow? Lightning water. Fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Water and lightning ice are the same thing, opposed, Titus. Just like fire and ice. This one here is a water feed. Which means thunder. I paid attention in Final Fantasy Kindergarten. All right, more tutorial fights. We need to learn how to play the game. I've never played this game before. I don't know what's going on. Take your time. Oh, you're not hurry the fuck up. I have a stream to run. Let's get going, man. Yeah, come on. We're gonna wait. Huh? All right. You ready? <laughs> Pay no attention to the vegetation clipping through the hill in the background. What's You're going watching on? it. You're looking at it right there, right there in the middle. Oh, it's gone now. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Yes, pray to the phallic Chapu, the, 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 the phallic symbol. Day. Said he'd miss his boat. And then God fucked him up. In other words, pray or you'll get fucked up. See? We're going to pray. We do not want to get fucked up. That should do it. By the way, we have an upcoming fight that makes me remember that I want to check on something. Uh... Turbo is F1. Pay absolutely no attention to that. That will have no bearing on anything to come. I promise you. Anyway, sudden pre render cutscene! High quality! A furry appears! This one didn't get all the shots. Oh, he's got rabies. Bad furry. Down. Will you stop attacking for a Scooby snack? Oh, bad news, everyone. He's got... He's got spear rabies. Uh, and now we're just going to do some uh, cinematic attacking. Literally, I'm... Literally, this is all we're gonna do. Oh no, he's gonna jump on us! No! He's got Dragoon Rabies! Fuck! Uh, Marcia, I'm not sure why, because I have my stream on low latency mode, and, um... Like, uh, my That's stats enough. are showing that I have a pretty normal, uh upload speed so you might want to refresh the stream actually and you might uh, see it might uh, be a little less latency Ugh, try refreshing it fixes everything and he's got spear Glory rabies Ronso, of the Ronso tribe he's learned the fiend's way of fighting that's not what I meant hey, he jumps on you he's another Yuna's guardians huh <laughs> sometimes we don't understand him either Kamari doesn't talk much anyway hey, he jumps mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. By jumping on everyone in front of her. Have I said jump enough? Oh, we get a piece of equipment. Metal shields. There we go, defense plus five. Actually, let's do some equipping while we're here. There we go, just magic up. He didn't even bring any clothes, as expected. Alright, let's go.
So that was Kamari. He's pretty much this game's blue mage because his uh, unique skill Lancet gives him the ability to learn. Um, he learns attacks from other enemies, but they're all pretty much Why? useless. That's your department, right? True, true. But, uh, uh, but Kamari is just generally useless. His stats, every single one of his stats are mediocre. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got nothing to show for. But three quarters through the game, he has a solo battle. So if you completely ignore him, you will be fucked for that. So you at least want to make sure that he tags in to most of the major battles. Because this game is unfair like that. Also, summon animations are cool. Here we're going to uh, we're gonna summon uh, Boop Bird. There, 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 there she is, Boop Bird. Good Boop Bird. Go get him. Okay, let's see. Yep, we're gonna give him a delay. Uh, I'm just gonna give him an attack. Nice crit. I wonder if we're gonna get our overdrive off, because I want to show that off. The overdrives are amazing in this game. Also, Veil 4 is seriously nothing special. The only special thing about Veil 4, who is the first summon, of course, there will be many more summons. Uh, the only special thing is that Veil 4 is the only one that has more than one overdrive. All of the other ones just have their pre-made set overdrive. Uh, people have theorized that this is kind of proof that there uh, was going to be some sort of system uh, to unlock overdrives for your summons uh, to make them a little more interesting. But it seems that they only implemented it for Veil 4 uh, in Veil 4 having Energy Blast and Energy Ray. Um, but that's the only one. That is the only summon that has more than one overdrive. So they gave up on it after Veil 4. And here we have another motherfucker. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, buddy. Here's another tutorial. Waka can inflict status effects. Dark attack infli inflicts blind. Which pretty much means that uh homeboy here can't see shit. Which means that his accuracy is greatly reduced. I'm just gonna get you on the XP gravy train. Boop. So in order to make sure that a character gets credit for a fight and that they get XP from that fight, you have to make sure that they perform an action during that fight. So as long as Yuna boops the snoot, then you can make sure that Yuna gets the same amount of, of XP as anyone else at the end of the uh, at the end of the fight. So that's what we did. We booped the snoot. Marcia, you got it fixed. I hope it's better now. More dark. Oh, that was a waste of MP. Oh well, whatever. However, if Yuna takes down um, a monster with her summon, then she takes all of the XP. Nobody else gets any. This is the summon's attack. What's this here? This is Lancet scan. Um, I'm going to have Waka just keep going along his normal path. There we go. Yuna can extract ability, deal, magic, hmm. Oh, damn it, come on. Don't do me like this. Move correctly. Okay, get scan here, get magic up, get lancets. 
HP. Okay, I'm going to have Yuna move backwards just one, one step, just so we can get that magic up. And then I will get her along her intended path. And then at some point along the line, we're going to have her encroach... A oh, that strength might be worth getting. Uh, the reason why you would want Yuna to get stats such as strength, for example, is because her summon's stats depend on her own stats. So if she gets a strength up, even though it'll be useless for her as a character since she won't be doing any physical attacking, uh, it'll be a huge buff for her um, summons because they will use that summon very often. Anyway, for much of the uh, for much of the game, you'll see that random encounters kind of have a rock paper scissors thing going on. Elemental enemies get fucked by Lulu spells. Um, fast ground based enemies get fucked by Titus. Fast airborne enemies get fucked by Waka. And then later on, piercing enemies, uh, I mean enemies with uh, shields on them, get fucked by Orin or Kamari if god forbid you would use him, but nobody uses Kamari. Kamari is bad. Mari's really bad. Anyway, like I was saying before, we're gonna have Yuna continue down her path until we have an opportunity to jump her onto Lulu's path. Usually around the place where the raw spells are, like Blizzara and Fyra and Watera. So that she can learn those spells, and because Yuna has a higher base magic, she'll actually be stronger with those spells than Yuna would. Also, we want to make sure to talk to these NPCs because they give us shit. Free things, give me free things. Please give me free things. There we go. Three Phoenix Downs. A remedy. Come on. Hand it all over. Seeker's Ring. Hand it over, come on. Come on, fuck your goodbyes. Gimme. I don't care if you're crying. Gimme. There we go. 400 gil. Yep, ether. Uh, do you have anything? Okay, I think that's everything. Alright, we have shaken down everyone successfully. Now we leave. Marcia, link me to that manga. On Discord, please. Thank you. You might be thinking that they're crying because Yuna is leaving. And, uh, definitely coming back, of course. But, uh, they're actually crying because I took all this shit. Goodbye. Bye, and thank you for all the things. Hey, you two, can you get off, like, the gangplank? We really need to leave, thanks. Alright, here's the world map. We're going to Kilika. Nothing bad is going to happen in Kilika. Do you understand me? Not a single bad thing. Here, Titus is going to, uh, behave in appropriate manner. An extremely appropriate manner. Yep, he's just going to handstand on some guy's shoulders and he's gonna take his binoculars. Ladies and gentlemen, Titus. What a fucking mook. Yeah, that's a lot of belts. That's the Nomura, huh? Titus! Titus, that's a crime! Stop it! Titus, stop being a creep. Titus, she saw you being a creep. You fucking moron. Yeah, smooth. Smooth. And he broke his binoculars. 
Freaking jackass. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. To jail. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and hit for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too. So you come along, yeah? <sighs> We're going to sports great church. Plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Sports church. Don't look at me. Titus has never been to sports church. What a fucking mook. I don't know who you are or where you came from. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I'm sorry. We'll be praying for the Aurochs Vic. Yeah, shut up. Word is that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. Whoa. You don't say. I have a leather codpiece. Lord Braska's Ooh. daughter? Hmm. Well, she's surrounded. Uh, this guy's still got furry rabies, so I'm not gonna talk to him. Well, like, I can't talk to him because he has nothing to say. What have we up here? We got jack shit. What have we up here? Okay, so it's not this one. So, in the next ship that we get on, there is an Albed Primer there. So I need to remember to go there. Uh, Ooh, Marcia, of course I'm gonna get jack shot. I never miss. Yeah, filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not a walker. Wow. Okay. You fucking judgmental asshole. Don't look like you got much money either. Look who's talking, Mr. Cockney no accent. With you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? A walker, the twenty-third merchant extraordinaire. A walker, the who? Haven't heard Don't of the other twenty-two me. of you either. Well, not many. Do. Not yet. Yeah, look who's talking big over here. But someday, the name of Waka will be spoken all over Spira. Yeah, like, did you hear that Say a Waka guy got fucking arrested for being an him. asshole to everybody? Uh, we're just gonna have 101 gil. Oh, uh, thanks for hosting, Zach. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine, see. Uh, Marcia, yeah. You get your first tier of uh, price reductions from uh, 101 gil, which is nothingness. Wh what the heck is that? What, what the heck is what? It's chocobos. What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Da, da, na, 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 yeah, na, but na, why the big birds? Na, na. What's so strange about chocobo power? Da, 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 da. Chocobos? Those are chocobos? Da, 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 da. What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? The future. Hmm. I mean, the past. One thousand years in the past. The backwater Miracles thousand years in the past. We're starting to become daily routine on this trip. That's just a chocobo, Titus. You're in a Final Fantasy game. What did you think was gonna happen? Here's an Albed Primer. Illegal C. I love chocobos. All right, let's keep going. Here's Letty and Gata from the Crusaders. I wonder what they're up to. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Oh, they have a plan. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. They have an operation. Ooh, I'm sure we're never going to hear about that ever again. That's not foreshadowing. Not them, nor their operation. This guy's dying. Fuck this suitcase. Fuck this suitcase. This suitcase owes me money. This suitcase owes me potions. Yeah, that's right. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? Can't do shit. So, the real uh, story about that suitcase is that you just keep kicking it until uh, you have 20 potions, and then, yeah. It just fills your inventory up to 20 potions. I mean, normally that'd be pretty awesome, but potions are kind of useless in the, is this game because they only restore 200 HP. But yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing. Suitcase, kick it, 20 potions. Done. Uh, 
Uh, Marcia, I'm gonna need to get myself another another drink before I parse that sentence. All right. Up we go, back into Boat City. This guy doesn't want to give us back his bi but the binoculars. Uh, Yuna is still being harassed, it seems. What do I do now? All right, I talked to uh, I talked to Waka. So is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summon of Braska. You saw his Marcia. There's the no shops on the boat. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. And I'm pretty sure it only works on this boat trip. Like if you go back on this boat later, that suitcase doesn't do anything anymore. When your father's famous. Huh? Waka's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Waka's miss Mick Waka's lacking in all the departments. <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Especially the shirt department. Oh great, we can talk to Yuna now. Like I said, a lot of this game is hunt, hunt the cutscene. By the way, the water in this game, really, really pretty. Especially in the HD remaster. Yeah, you thought you were going to play it slick, huh, Marcia? Sell the infinite potions, why don't we? Is that why her cleavage is on the full wind. display? Because lack it's of nice. imagination. Mm. That's a really good interpretation. Honestly, I'd never thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, an hour into the journey and they've already lost their goddamn minds. This is a really tragic story, everyone. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. I mean, can you blame the guy? <laughs> guy shows up on your beach and he's like, I'm a time traveler from 1,000 years in the past. Huh? Me I and my horrible in clothing. There is a great stadium. All lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named the Jack ads. Tony. He was my father's guardian. Won't you watch the Super Bowl, Titus? Jack. Ooh, daddy issues time. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing. Hmm. Ball prayer. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Kind of awkward. We're gonna kill him later, then, huh? Sounds oh, like no, him. You didn't hear me. I didn't say him. anything. The microphone cut what? out there. My old man. He died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. And lip syncing is a little wonky. I'm sorry. I'm just noticing it now. I went out to sea for training one day and never came back. How convenient, and no huh? I haven't seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. What a coincidence. I remember that was the day my father left. I wonder where he is now. The date fits, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> but you know, if he's stuck in a place like this, it makes you wonder how yeah, much like, sin how he's getting up to, huh? Kind of seems to be a pretty rough You're dude, here. huh? Are you not? God, I love being coy about the story. <laughs> like I said, I've played this game like six times. Speaking of sin, hey! You know, in Jaws, they always tell you you gotta be scared of sharks, but here comes a whale of a time. I'm 
so sorry. No, 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 I'm being coy as fuck. You cannot tell my meaning at all. By the way, to any new viewers of the stream, please remember to follow. I believe I'm, I'm at 31 out of 50 followers until I can reach affiliate status, so I'm really hoping I can get there soon. Yeah, good observation, low quality face man. So while this plays out, um, you might be thinking this is like a big scary fight because we're already fighting Sin. But this is actually the first really good power leveling opportunity. And I will explain to you why as soon as we get into combat. But we're going to uh, get a respectable amount of levels just to make sure that I never have to grind later on because grinding is anti-stream. Well, I mean, considering I'm about to grind for it a little bit, but this is strong. This this is a smart grinding, I promise. And it's just gonna take. We're just gonna do like five to ten minutes. We'll think of something to talk about while it happens. Who's ready for more sin scales? All right, here is what we're going to do. So, I'm just gonna boop something. Yuna is going. Oh, whoops. What's Yuna gonna do? You know she's gonna boop something to get on the uh, AP gravy train. Uh, we're gonna switch out with Lulu just to get her on the AP gravy train. Bonk. I'll explain this all once I get it set up. Don't worry. Like I said, there is a setup. Uh, I'm just gonna take you out. Just to keep you from doing your thing. Get Kamari up in here. Just gonna boop. And we're going to get Waka in here. And we're gonna boop. And imagine if I could get haste in this, but it's way too early in the game still. How many of these the fin? No, shut up. No, shut up. I still have setup to do. Okay, we're just gonna throw out a few cheers. Okay, we're good to start the turbo. Yeah, do your do your swim. I cheer again. Uh, gonna cheer again. That's uh, three cheers. I believe it goes up to five. Uh, who's the free boy? There we go. Okay, and one last one. All right, now we are just going to max mash the X button. So what we're doing here is uh, this boss battle, if you want to call it. Um, honestly, it's not really a boss battle because the only things that are doing damage to you is these sin scales, and they only do like 50 damage, which is nothing at all. So this boss battle keeps going until you do a certain amount of damage to the fin. And that fin only takes damage from Waka's ball or Lulu's magic because it's at a huge range. Um, and then it also spawns three of these sin scales here every time you kill all the sin scales already on the ship. And there's an infinite number of it. So there's an infinite number of sin, spawn, um, sin scales that you can kill. And all of these sin scales give you AP for killing them. So what this means is that this fight gives you an infinite source of AP. 
So if you do this for like five minutes, like while watching TV in the background, then you are pretty well set for the beginning of the game. Yes, Marcia raises a good point. Mar Lancet would also do damage to this fucker. But uh, Marcia is also correct in that nobody cares about Lancet. Lancet do does piss poor damage and you can't learn any ab abilities in this fight. So like I said, we're just going to do this for like five minutes. Get a good amount of kills in here. Just to make sure I don't have trouble later on in the stream. So uh, you could always do this even in the original game. Uh, but in the HD version, it's actually easier because they added the turbo feature. So if you see that times four in the top left of the screen, uh, it means that the fight is actually running at four times speed. Um, and like I said, that's an enhancement that they added in the HD version. Which means that we can be a little more efficient with this because the animations are faster. <sighs> By the way, I think I'm getting a little less drunk. I get uh, drunk really fast, but also it clears up really fast. Just as fast, really. Uh, just because of how my medication affects my liver. That's just a natural side effect to being me. Also, all these overkills are really nice because, like I said, overkill means more AP. So it makes us even more efficient. So, um, happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone has nice plans for the weekend. Tomorrow, Beth and I are going clothes shopping because I seriously need to wear something other than jeans. Even though every time I say that I'm going to buy like some cute skirts or dresses or whatever, I always end up with jeans anyway. Happy Friday to you too, Marcia. I hope you have a good weekend ahead of you. Let's see, what time is it? What time did I even start this uh, grinding? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Zach, my drink is fully drank, so uh, no, um, no more alcohol is going in this. Also, Beth and I are getting up pretty early tomorrow because um, we're going to go see the Lego movie, too. I'll let you know how that is tomorrow. But yeah, it would not be good for me to have more alcohol because that would mean a hangover for me tomorrow. Which would not be very good What with us waking up early tomorrow. Hangovers plus early starts are not a good combination. Oh dear, Marcia, I hope uh, that philosophy homework won't be too much of a pain. I promise, no spoilers. Snape kills Dumbledore. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, it just turned 10 10. At 10 11, I will stop this. So 60 more seconds of killing these mooks. Thank you for sticking around. I promise this is worth it. This will save us a lot of time later in the stream. This is the most efficient way to do it early game. Really, the next uh, grinding opportunity like this is since Bon Gui's, uh Flippers? Fins? Arms? Uh, when o Operation Meehan happens. And that's in a few hours, so... Also, that's not as efficient, because you can't one-hit kill those as uh, e reliably as you can one-hit kill these. I told you I was gonna grind a bit, Zach. It's for the good of the stream. Like I said, okay, it is 10-11 now. So, okay, so I'm gonna allow one more set to spawn, and once the spawn is done, I'm going to turn off the turbo. Alright, done. Alright, grind is done. So, now that we're done with that, we're just gonna have Lulu do thing. Gonna have Waka also do the thing. 
Wow, really good throw, Waka. That is some amazing aim. Waka just has the ability... He's just got such a good fucking throwing arm that he can just throw at something like half a mile away. And the ball will always return to him. Because that's how these things work. Bonked? Just a couple more turns of this and the fin will be down. Oh, uh, wait, what just happened there? Oh, right, wrong turn, sorry. Uh, Marcia, I'm not gracing that over response. Actually, you know what I'm gracing this with? Yeah. One second, give me a second here. I promise this is important. Go. No. Image. Source. Uh, here we go. Done. Oh, fuck. Not like that. Not like this. Sorry, right, give me a second. There we go. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Now, what were we doing again? Ah, uh, yes, we were attacking this thin bin. Just uh, enjoy that, um, a perfectly in context quote. Now, now, I'm not shaming you. I'm appreciating you. Uh, publicly. Publicly appreciating you. <laughs> this is going to end up happening every, every stream if you keep this up. Uh, 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 oh, Alright, one more attack on that fin and this is over. One more kill in for good measure. Oops. And dead. Good throw, Waka. This is totally in the, the end of this fight, isn't it? Nothing else is coming. Everything's Daijobu. Everyone is accounted for, see? Furry. Ball thrower. Uh, exposed tits. Pure Christian maiden. We're missing someone. We're missing a certain loudmouth sportsman. Eh, nothing of value is lost. Let Yuna be the protagonist. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. We don't want you anymore. You serve no distinct use other than time magic for some fucking reason. Aw, oh, you just gotta save him, don't you? Even though he's totally dead already. You just gotta throw a high potion on him. No, that was the next potion. Sorry. Okay, and now we have bullshit to fight, of course, because that's just how these things work. No, Marcia, Titus's role is to be a loudmouth idiot uh, who was a complete stranger to this world, and through that, uh, be our source of exposition. Wow, Final Fantasy X is an isekai. That's, uh, it's kind of a weird revelation. We are going to dark attack this Sin Spawn, Sin Spawn Achilles, that's his name, uh, so that he misses us a lot more, because his attacks are kind of sh suck. They are kind of suck.
Also, these things are just going to attack for some reason. We can just ignore them. They just do like 50 damage. Cheer again. Make this go a little faster. Manchild is a good thing to go with. Yes, uh, it is. Okay, this will be the last year. We don't need anything more than this. Also, Waka, just patch yourself up. I don't want any surprises happening here. Oh fuck, we're gonna get blended! Who's ready for a sportsman smoothie? Uh, Titus, you heal yourself up too. And then we can start DPSing in earnest! Bonk. Honestly, in this whole ordeal, uh, this Sin Spawn here is more of a threat than Sin himself, because he can actually kill you rather easily. But with his Rain Touch and his Blender... Oh, ouch. I need to, uh... Redark you. Makes things a lot easier. A lot of thing, A lot of bosses in the beginning of the game are susceptible to blind. So, Waka is pretty useful in that regards. Achilles also doesn't really have that much HP, so he'll go down real quick. And he also gives a respectable amount of uh, AP, so... I'm not complaining. Dead. So yeah, that grinding portion might have been a little boring, I know, but once the results screen comes up, you'll see why I did it. Here it comes. This, everyone, is why I did it. 99 power spheres. But a luck sphere ain't one. Also, this is the cutscene where nothing wrong happens. Nothing bad happens, nobody dies. Oh fuck, people are gonna die. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh no, you're gonna get killed off just, just so- just to see how powerful Sin is! Ugh. Like lambs to the slaughter. How pitiful. By the way, it's kind of, uh, un they kind of make it unclear what Sin's powers actually are, but Sin is a gravity elemental, which is why he can do all this shit. I believe his ultimate attack in the later fights is when called Sin something like, uh, Giga Graviton or something like that. I I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. Yeah, as if. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Hey, bright side lap pillow. Maybe it was that day on the sea under the burning sun. Lap pillows are one of the 10 I top, started to give up hope. Top 10 reasons to live. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. I'm stuck in it until we're done grinding.
This uh, stereotypical sad song here is called Wandering Flame. It's really pretty. And it's also really fitting because there is a lot of tragedy in this game. Greetings. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. You know, come to think of it, the sending sounds like the opposite of what a summoner would do. Like, literally the direct opposite of the base meaning of the word summoner. But we don't think too much about these things. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can level up because we got a bunch of shit. We got flee, which is really important. It guarantees that we can escape from a fight. Uh, everyone at once, because normally you'd have to make everyone escape one by one. What's this here? Extract power. No, we don't need that. We've already got haste way earlier than we should. There we go. Mana. Okay, so what have we here? We have extract speed. Those are some pretty good points. Okay, provoke. Alright, so we're meant to go to the top right. Uh, extra power, HP. Great guard here. So this is Auron section. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick detour right down here just to get that HP node. Because maximum HP is uh, important. Okay. Uh, Lulu next. Come on. Come on, don't be difficult. What with this? Oh, these are the null attacks, that's right. Please! Okay! Magic up. Magic defense up. Um, we got HP up. Because thank goodness, because Lulu has fuck all max HP right out the box. And then focus, which increases everyone's magic and magic defense, and it's never used. Just thought you'd want to know that. Hmm. Is this worth it? You know what? Let's splurge a bit. Make Waka just a little more useful. There we go. Also, the nice thing about the sphere grid is that it takes one sphere level to advance in the sphere grid, but then to move backwards, uh, one sphere level lets you move backwards three spaces. So if you have to backtrack, it's not that much of a bad thing. We're not going to have enough... Uh... Yeah, we're not, not going to have enough ability spheres for all the nulls. Ugh, that was dumb. Eh, oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Um. Oh, Kamari, what are we gonna do with you? Kamari, Kamari, Kamari. Um, I said something about strength, but I'm not actually gonna do it, because uh, I can get by with uh, Yuna in her uh, summon battles just fine, without getting that extra strength. I'm just saying that's a good idea if you want to go down that route. But she, she'll have enough. Don't worry. Oh, Kamari. Um...
You know what? I'm gonna bring you down Orin's route this time. Not that it really matters because you suck ass, but... Oh, right. I can't teach you Dark Attack. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna leave you right there because nobody cares about you. Because you were bad. You are very bad. You've been a bad kitty. Bad furry. Okay, we are almost done for tonight. But before we finish, I'm going to show you one of the most iconic cutscenes. Uh, the most iconic cutscene in this game. This is kind of the cutscene that defines uh, Final Fantasy X. And also one of the most iconic cutscenes in all of Final Fantasy. So everyone, make sure you pay attention because this is a really cool cutscene. They put all of the budget into this. This was made for the trailers. Uh, what's ascending? Are we going somewhere? Titus, you unimaginable moron. <sighs> you truly are, Clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? Lulu basically just said there, Titus, you ignorant slut. The dead need guidance. You know, church. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. That's kind of heavy. They envy the living. That's really heavy. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. I and mean, hate brings him to the dark side. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. So yeah, those uh, like uh, wild Sad, road dogs we've been killing, isn't it? they're dead people. The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. Like that one dog on the road like tried to tear it or throw it out, but that was like someone's grandma. That was Mima. Mima tried to tear or throw it out. Has a uh, suffering, anger, hate, dark side. Why, Mima? Okay, this is the cutscene. Here we go. This is Yuna sending. I'm not gonna talk for this because this is a beautiful cutscene. So just watch. And that was the sending. That cutscene was made for the trailers. It was made to sell copies of this game. It must be tough. And for good summer. reason. It is gorgeous. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way. Also Until that water walking parlor trick. She's never going to do that ever again end. in this game. What's the end? 
uh, when she fucking sacrifices herself to kill Sid. Sin, right? Oh wait, never mind. She's gonna kill Sin, and everyone's gonna live happily Until ever after. She defeats Sin. Remember, Titus, oh. this isn't a suicide mission. I hope. I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. You sold millions of They've copies of this the game. Far plane by now, but no tears next time. Mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. Sorry, Titus, you're gonna see it again. Okay, it is 10.32. We are done for tonight. I know we didn't get, uh, we didn't get much further in the game, um, but, so here's the plan. So next time I stream, um, it might be sometime this weekend. If it is this weekend, it will be Sunday, uh, but if it's not this weekend, it'll be Monday. So Monday usually is a raid night, however, there will be Final Fantasy XIV maintenance on Monday night, so there's no raid night on Monday night. So that means that Monday night is just going to be streaming other games. Now, next time I stream will be Final Fantasy X. The entire time I'll be streaming Final Fantasy X. We will get some good uh, progress in the game, and hopefully by the end of that stream we'll have finished Luca at least. Um, now, my next game to replace Resident Evil 2, because I like to have two games running in parallel, and then I, um, I alternate them between streaming sessions. So the game that's going to replace Resident Evil 2 is going to be Black Mesa. Some of you may know that game. Black Mesa is uh, the fan-made remake of Half-Life 1 in the Source Engine. It's a really good game. It's a really pretty game, and it's one of my favorite games aesthetic-wise. So we're going to be playing that to replace Resident Evil 2. So, like I said, next time I stream, we're playing Final Fantasy X. And then the time after that, it will be uh, Black Mesa. And then time after that, Final Fantasy X. And we're just going to alternate until we finish one of them, and I'll replace that with another game. I'll let you know once we get there. So, for now... That is the stream. Um, thank you everyone for coming and watching. I really appreciate everyone that watches this as usual. Um, and I really hope you'll keep sticking around to watch Final Fantasy X, because like I said, this is one of my favorite games ever. It's really nostalgic to me. I have a lot of commentary for this game. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, um, I will see you all either Sunday night or Monday night. No promises for Sunday night. I will let you know on Twitter and in the Discord server. For those of you that are in the dis uh, for that aren't in the Discord server yet, uh, just look below my uh, the stream in the channel information. The invite link to the Discord server is there. So make sure you join, okay? Um, alright, I'm signing off for tonight. See you all later. Bye-bye. Good night.